connecting to the internet with a slow Windows machine. This is Windows 7 and we could probably do with updating Internet Explorer or downloading Chrome. So I'm going to try downloading Chrome onto this machine. So this is Internet Explorer 7, no, Internet Explorer 11. It's offering to let us download Microsoft Edge and we can't connect to that page. So let's go to Google. Still lets us download Windows for Windows 7, although it won't get updates. We've now got Chrome installed. Let's have a very quick look at WebGL Aquarium and see if that works. This is an Intel Atom based system with an N570, which is dual core, 1.66 gigahertz and four threads. And it's only got one gigabyte of RAM. So that's not gonna help with the speed of this system, especially with the modern day internet. that took a long time it's loaded all of this in and it's getting a little hot the fan has kicked in so let's leave this page and get a, a different web page and see how it copes We've got two tabs open and the scrolling and loading is reasonable. This is a slow machine. Let's have a look at a speed test and see what kind of speeds we get for the Wi-Fi. This looks quite reasonable. Getting a better upload speed than download. Shall we try and go on YouTube? 
and see if video playback works. So it's playing the advert. It's using the VP09 codec. It's at 360. I've given this uh, laptop away. Someone took that. Let's see if we can go. Oh, it is at 480. Let's switch off ambient mode. It's dropping quite a lot of frames and there's not much happening in the video. But I guess if you just wanted something to play videos back in the background, you weren't particularly watching them, just listening to the sort of audio or leaving it running. I'm kind of surprised it actually works. Or rather, I'm surprised it works this well. So I've put CPU usage here so we can see what it's doing. And it's not as high as I was expecting. And we're still using the VP09 codec. I could use the H264 if I plug in um, for better results potentially. Doesn't take too long to switch between full screen and this smaller view. And widescreen doesn't take too long. It's quite impressive considering this laptop has only one gigabyte of RAM. So we're using 776 megabytes at the moment. So there's still some free memory, just a tiny little bit. <laughs> um, And Chrome is using the most as expected. So I've just closed Chrome and, or rather I've cl closed YouTube and the memory use has dropped quite noticeably, but let's see how many different tabs we can have and how much memory the different tabs use up. So we've got one tab. Let's open a second tab. Got quite a long time for the second tab to even appear. Go for a third tab. It's 
maybe they're taking about 60 megabytes per tab. Maybe more. It's taken quite a long time to load in these extra tabs. Now up to six tabs. Um, this one I reloaded and it's still loading and it's going quite slow. And we're getting up to about nearly 900 megabytes. So I've got the fan spinning up as well. Um, loading a seventh tab now. CPU usage is at 100%. And this is, you know, the internet. I've not got anything extra in terms of minimizing the amount of things that load on here. I've just got the actual web pages, the loading. I guess there aren't many adverts on here because it is the BBC Sport website and I'm visiting it from the UK. So let's go for an eighth tab. I've also got Internet Explorer running over here. Let's bring up Task Manager again. Up to 850 megabytes in use. Maybe we'll be able to get another tab. Eight. We're up to eight tabs now. Let's go for a ninth and a tenth. Now it's saying make Chrome faster memory saver frees up memory from inactive tabs so it can be used via active tabs and other apps. So let's just have a look at Task Manager, see what's going on with the memory. We're at 900 megabytes. Um, should we turn this on and see what happens got 10 tabs open this is windows 7 running on an intel atom n570 1.6 gigahertz cpu with one gigabyte of ddr3 ram this is a dual core processor with four threads. Um, doesn't seem to have claimed back much memory. Maybe it thinks these are all still active tabs. Oh yeah, it's gone up a little bit. And if we open these two here, we've got 12 tabs in total. So this little laptop is doing surprisingly well considering it's only got one gigabyte of RAM. Let's have a look at control panel and I'll just show you the specifications of this system. So it's running Windows 7 Ultimate, Service Pack 1, 32-bit mode. And it's retrieving system information. Intel Atom N570, 1.66 gigahertz with one gigabyte of RAM. So there's a quick look at using this system on the internet. Should we try some other website? Um, Website full of adverts, see what happens. That's the fan kicking in again. a little bit of slowdown. down. 
we don't seem to have this advert over here. Maybe it's not loading or it's in the process of loading. But I'm kind of quite impressed by what this laptop is capable of considering the performance of the CPU. It's not a high performance CPU, but it managed to cope with YouTube playback, managed to cope with multiple websites and it's definitely slowing down but if I had limited the amount of web apps and web tabs I had open, it should be performing a little better. I've got quite a lot open at the moment. And we've got committed megabytes. So it would be much happier with two gigabytes of RAM basically, but we've only got one. Looks like it might have put some of the other tabs to sleep as well. If you've got this far, thanks for watching. See you in another video. Bye.